squeeze quad here, squeeze quad here. So you get a good definition, good uh, contraction of the quad. I think a lot of how the knee feels kind of comes down to you know what the quads are doing. Yeah. And so you know, just in terms of you know, obviously the next steps. I think however they can start instituting or kind of adding in some of that stuff like that. Okay. I think just to kind of get you looking like a basketball player okay. again. Everybody. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me for a day in the life, like what I eat in a day on a light lifting recovery stretching day. So this morning I had an appointment with the doctor and it was my six to seven month post-op checkup. And for the most part, it went pretty good, except I was supposed to bring tennis shoes. That was my one job and I literally forgot them. So I couldn't jump for him, but basically we just kind of talked about what's been going on at PT because my PT Tim leaves all of his notes so he can still like see my progress and things. And then we talked about like the progression for the next two or three months of playing again. But we scheduled an appointment for one month on the 16th of March, so I'll be eight months. The 8th of March, I am doing my other jump assessment with my PT. So like I said in another video, that's what I have to go through to get cleared officially. So the appointment went pretty good. It's just frustrating that like I forgot my shoes. And in the last clip you just saw, I ate breakfast. So usually every morning I eat the same breakfast. Again, I talked about this in my last video or two, but I'm counting my macros right now and I'm getting like 150 grams of protein. That breakfast was a definitely a bigger breakfast. If you're not a big breakfast person, then maybe, you know, find something probably else that works good for you. But personally, I love breakfast and starting off the day with high protein meal actually satisfies you during the evening times. So you don't really have much cravings with like sugary snacks and things like that. It was 49 grams total of protein which is pretty much my goal if I'm having like three meals a day and then like a snack or two just to get me to like 150 and obviously I'm eating in a dorm so I can't necessarily cook everything that I want. The protein bar and the powder is from Costco. I don't think I like can digest whey protein that well that's why I use the organic protein powder. And then after my appointment I just lifted really light at home. I can add in the workout that I did but it was just like a lot of ankle weight stuff. step up, step downs, really not too heavy. Originally I was doing three times a week lifting lower body and then once I started getting heavy I switched to two as I talked about but now since I'm like more pain free I went back to three days a week. I think it's like two and a half because Wednesday is more like a stretch I'm still gonna go shoot but I want to like do exercises that wake my quad up. I ate at 11. It's 2 now. I'm really not that hungry though. So one of my go-to like lunches is non-fat Greek yogurt because of the amount of protein it has in it. The serving size is 2 thirds of a cup. It's 100 calories. But it has 17 grams of protein in just that serving size. So I'm going to measure out 2 thirds. I usually have to look like my eye and pretend I know what two thirds is, but I was trying to be fancy. I'm not gonna lie though, it is kind of nasty. It really doesn't have any flavoring, probably because I got like the non fat one. I got it from Grady Eagle, by the way. It's, it's kind of gross. So I add some granola on top, and this is from the brand Kind. The only thing about granola is it does have a lot of sugar in it. This one only has five grams of sugar though, which is kind of something that I try and keep in mind when I'm getting granola. And it's a third of a cup of serving size, but I just kind of sprinkle it on top all right that's good enough so this is oh really good i'm in my second class of the day just know i'm drinking this for my workout hey guys i'm shooting now i got in here at like 505 wait like 405 it's 507 right now so i'm almost done but i'll show you a little bit what i'm doing
dinner is pre-made chicken and rice that my dad made. For Valentine's Day, my mom made me cookies, so I had like three of them. I can't lie. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm going to drink some greens to fill up with water. This is the same brand that I have my protein powder in, the Organ brand. So one scoop is 40 calories. I mean, it doesn't really matter necessarily like what the scoop is. Ew, it's, it doesn't. The reason I drink greens is just because typically your serving size of the greens you're supposed to have the day, I definitely don't get. I do not eat enough greens in the day. I also like this because it acts as like a probiotic Gluten free Lindsay, if you're listening. There's like 50 different greens in here. Let's see what else is in here. Buckwheat, canoa, acai, apple, cranberry, banana, spinach, broccoli, kale, cabbage, beet, carrot, tomato. It doesn't taste good, but you just gotta do it. I'm gonna do some homework, but the boys are playing right now, so I'm gonna watch them. And then I have like physics, a video to watch, like a question, a follow up, and then daily problem, which I could do tomorrow, but I don't wanna get over with. So that's my day. I'm finishing up some homework that's doing like a week or two. And I'm gonna brush my teeth, watch Netflix show, and watch Sweet Magnolias on Netflix. It's really good. You should watch it if you need something to watch. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning, work out, pray, do my usual thing, chill till lab at three, then practice and do it all over again. Thanks for watching.